Red car on the outside for the run down into the first corner. Not where you want to be. Not one, not two, but three cars. He's oh, contact. oh, massive contact. Massive, massive contact on the run down in a paddock hill. Ben this was a massive contact. The, first of all, the driver was OK. So what happened here? Component failure. We've had some sort of brake failure. As you can see, the other cars slow down and the red car has no chance. No brakes, apparently, and runs up the back of one of the other cars for a massive impact. Now... What happened here? One of the phenomenon known as pad knockoff happened on this occasion. And how does that occur? If we take a look at the brakes now, we have the blue brake pads and the disc in the center. And if these get vibrated or wildly moved around, you can end up with a gap, which gives you a long brake pedal, effectively no brakes. And how do they get vibrated around? By curbs. These curbs can have a raised section in them up to two to three inches wide uh, high and um, here you know that rattles the brake pads back and what you often see drivers doing here you can just see them dabbing the brakes before the main part of the track just pushing them out a little bit wide onto the gravel there just hear him ride the curbs on that side because he gets pushed wide by the evo car he's ridden on those very high curbs coming out that corner rattled the brakes out the way and effectively has no brakes hasn't hit the brakes the brakes comes to need them and he has no brakes was a massive impact hopefully everyone was okay but do remember if you do ride the curbs then you need to just tap the brakes um as we've seen in um, these videos to take away, bring those pads back onto the disc. So just tapping the brakes will make everything fine. And then they'll be ready for you to use them.